Hi beautiful beings of light, this is Yana and welcome to my YouTube channel and we are here in this uh, first month of 2022. It's been quite challenging for me and by the same time very beautiful. Like you see the sun is shining. I'm here um, close to the beach actually so I'm going to the beach uh, very soon. There are a couple of friends just helping me. So, uh, you know, to overnight at their uh, places, spaces where they're uh, uh, beautiful homes where the, there's no, well, there there is 5G towers, but it's not so close like uh, my friend um, that I moved to um, just, you know, temporarily because I'm constantly on a move and um, just kind of exploring things, experimenting things and um, trying to connect with my tribe, right? With my soul family, star family, you know, it's, it's a military uh, thing going on so it's not easy um, because um, there are so many secrets and uh, challenges and you know uh, danger behind all that so also I gotta be also careful uh, with what I say how I say things and how I am also talking about things that are actually uh, almost not allowed uh, because here in this prison planet right occupied um, by those negative aliens you know with their negative alien agenda so that's why we come in we step in you know the galactics you know the star seas the indigo races and um we need to correct everything you know bring everything right side up and exposing you know we need to ex expose all the corruption uh, all the wrongdoings, uh, whether in politics or military, and of course education religion you know medical industry right um and uh, media as well and um, you know so this is this is not an easy job and I know so many beautiful souls uh, had to go they're not even here uh, on this plane of existence so hopefully they had a good smooth transition I mean that's what we are uh, doing too um, praying and helping for those who um, kind of had to go or who were attacked so-called the virus so uh, I'll continue with this 5G kind of agenda or soap opera again. Remember, these are my experiences. These are my perceptions. Okay, this is how I perceive things. And, you know, we are coming from uh, those higher pers um, higher dimensions. I mean, my mind is still kind of... Uh, uh, still needs to heal uh, because of all the radiation uh, coming, unfortunately, from the you know the 5G, 6G uh, towers, and um, they just I'll just explain how it really affects your uh, bioneurology. You know, it it affects your your uh, pineal pituitary gland, your hypothalamus, your thalamus, and so on. It's just they're they're just raking and they're just burning through the brain, and that's of course that's what they do to military. Those was been done to guys to military, whether you know the Marines, um, and so on soldiers. So that's why all these MK Ultra programming conditioning. I mean, this is horrible. What is being done by those, um, you know, the Dracos. Uh, Omicron, right? Those reptilians, I mean, the, the Anunnaki, the fallen uh, archangels, uh, they're extremely dark uh, with their black heart. Uh, they have no aura energy field. There's not, there's almost no light there, not no light there. So that's why they depend on us, on our light. But if we're in the matrix, empowering the matrix, just like unfortunately my friend, I told her, girl, you gotta turn off the Wi Fi, you know. The 5G tower is so next to you, close to you, you know, people get a cancer. People don't want to hear that. They don't want to deal with it. And, you know, now he, we are in a situation, guys, those people who didn't work on themselves, who haven't really established within themselves and through God. And, you know, right now it's just time. You just got to hold on to that divine spark that is within a sacred chamber of your heart. Because there's so much going on. All this information or misinformation. All these energies. We have the ascension energies. And then, of course, we have the draconian grid going on. The agenda of depopulation, transhumanism, tyranny, control, manipulation. Right? They're still fighting, trying to establish their world government, one world order. Or whatever just totally devoid of God 
uh, of soul yeah, and some people are choosing that in a way right the metaverse and all these technology right and you know the technology the the zetas and the grace that i talk about you know the orion group i mean they're extremely advanced um in their technology but unfortunately they're abusing it because they they don't have the connection to god to source their ai is not connected to god to source right so they're using um this highly advanced technology for destruction for contam contamination okay to to you know dehumanize us it's all anti-life anti-christ and anti-human you know so they can enslave us and you know we're just their slaves and they can control this entire solar system this entire matrix okay so um Anyway, so this the inner work, the spiritual work, you know, go over my ascension protocol. I know it's a on and on thing, you know, it just takes time to embody that and just to slowly and surely be in nature and just meditate and just focus on that love that emanates from within you. Okay, this is the key and that's how we live. I and mean, I don't know where I'm going next. I mean, I know there, there are other friends trying to uh, helping me. So I know I'll be moving around, driving around a lot at the same time I'm working and now um, I'm so happy to again to make another video so hope hope I can inspire you remember these are my experiences my perceptions um, and my videos are for educational entertainment and um, informational purposes I'm here to inspire you and, and empower you okay uh, you know, it's it's coming through my, all the information, you know, it's coming through my, um, you know, soul signature, energy signature through my filters, guys. And how you then interpret, right, the information that I'm conveying to you. Remember, it becomes your, it's coming through your perceptions, through your filters. So it immediately becomes your world, your reality. It's your story, okay and now learning you know how how you navigate through that i mean what is now happening uh, with you what is triggering you you know write things down right uh it's in my ascension protocol like we have to work uh on ourselves and uh, you know do the spiritual work you know the ascension is not easy the transformation transmutation right because we are very powerful co-creators with the divine we're watching our thoughts and feelings and actions right we're powerful emitters and transmitters and receivers of energies and right now you are you, what receiving energies from the cosmos the gamma rays frequencies right with all the solar flares and the coronal mass ejection and that's why our dna is um being uh, upgraded and we are being recalibrated rejuvenated regenerated by the same time right we're dealing with the agenda too in those um high density of the astral plane like me also fighting with the with the dracos you know um the draconians while being uh uh, poison uh, by the 5g towers you know this is not an easy thing and you know my my mind i had to learn how to kind of calm down being my heart being my center protect myself twirl the shield protection right because uh, we are going to um you know the original uh christo self right that's the uh, stargate 12 armathena that's the lyra constellation lyra or lyra however you want to call it but again you know th this that's why my videos are not, not for everybody okay and also invoking the violet flame beloved i'm presence bright round me seal your tube of light from ascended master flame call forth now in god's own name let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me i'm calling forth violet fire to blaze and transmit all desire keeping on in freedom's name till i'm one with the violet flame remember the violet flame right that's the highest frequency in the visible spectrum of color so and it's a color of freedom of uh, mercy of forgiveness okay of liberation and so uh very important to also work with those energies so when i'm being targeted uh, by the the negative ones right the draco so you know warring with them then the good ets you know the high command the archer command comes in and neutralizes these energies we are multi-dimensional especially the the indigo the star seeds right 
and you know those who were in the military extremely abused and they're coming from um this this lineage you know even Melchizedek lineage and I'm talking about the cabal I don't talk about the cabal you know I'm talking about the pure Christos lineage those who were abused and violated that by that's why I'm still here continuing my mission right I came also here for mother earth mother nature right she a beautiful beautiful jewel right in 5d her name was Tara in 7d her name is Gaia and that's you know where we are heading we're all opening those portals those stargates I mean the energies of course they are here you know and I'm aware of it it doesn't mean that now I'm close to 5g then you know somebody was telling me that I need to heal or leave the city I am both guys I am in the ascension here energies right on the ascension timeline because that's what we are holding that we're a pillar of light shining bright we're doing whatever we can at the same time I have to deal with people's egos with this density with the corruption how ignorance and arrogancy you know um, how people are even highly advanced and all these beautiful and, and beautiful souls close to 5g and just stuck in a matrix and it's just horrible to see and um, you know wish if I had this thing you know because uh, I just I'm trying to rent a room and just figure figuring things out as I'm working on my project I know it's for military you know for the Marines uh, for my soul group for my tribe and you know this is not an easy task exposing all the wrongdoings that go deep 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 underground right with all this um, child sex trafficking and all these um, galactic human um, trading slave, uh, slave trades and uh, you know pedophilia and sodomy and black magic and, and all this MK Ultra all this uh, you know programming right the um, what is it the MK the Mockingbird and and Monarch and uh, Montag you guys uh, I mean th this just goes uh, it just goes on and on it's unfathomable I mean the criminal activity the criminal activities uh, this is you can't even describe that it's just so immense and somebody has to hold the space and hold the light right so we can slowly exit this craziness the false matrix we can heal we can transform and have a beautiful life so welcome my beloveds um, so I'm going over my notes uh, reminding you that we are the the who are the indigos those are the ancient orafim races elder races right uh, we were the angelic um, uh, human beings incarnating uh, right right now in this um, you know shift in consciousness and um, in um, expansion of our consciousness right uh, here with me like a warrior race right we're very revolutionary we're the system busters we're the renegades okay and I'm also shadow worker because there are so many beautiful souls and communities talk about twin twin flame and how to be in your heart and how to meditate uh, we are it's simply different drummers I mean we're exposing the corruption okay so we are trained in dark arts so again the videos are not for everybody it's more for like warrior races here and who experience abuse and violence right and they kind of know innately what is true what is not true uh, what is what comes from God what doesn't comes from God and then you, you work for you work for government for military and you see all this corruption right your stomach is churning and you're wondering what in the world happened well here we go okay Lisa Rainey you know her energetic um, synthesis her newsletters that would help me figure it out who is electrocuting me okay uh, who is doing all this corruption where is this coming from um, because you know from that astral plane I was seeing uh, entities and you know they have highly advanced technologies and you know they have spaceship and spacecraft how come I'm driving a car uh, you know I need a gas what the bleep is this going on they have a reversed um, engineer technology levitating uh, cars and so and they're they're in a moon in a spaceship and here trying to go to work in a car so I just saw this injustices and I was just trying to find out figure out where in the world this is coming from 
Project Paperclip, right back in, um, right after World War II, those guys, the Nazis, or in, then uh, ca coming over here to United States, also infiltrated by the Orion Group, right? So there is so much energetics. We read the energetics. It's not the words that I am telling you guys. You have to read the energies. It means you have to have a deep connection to your heart, to your soul, to your signature. You have to know who you are. And if you don't, please be inspired okay and just try to figure it out right eight steps of yoga of self-study self-discovery of going deep within doing the inner work we're drawing from the external world and what are you connecting with what are you identifying with what are you feeling get in touch with your intuition with your feelings with your inner wisdom because you know now this chaos confusion people saying all kinds of things and you're trying to figure it out what only the, the that will come from within the kingdom of heaven uh the kingdom of heaven comes from within right all the answers to your questions come from within the inner work is extremely important i know people are stressed and they're wired all to the external and what other people are saying and what the government is saying or what the military is saying wh how are you feeling what is your heart telling you what are your intuition what is your intuition telling you okay so that's why and for me the inner work is extremely important and i've been um lucky and very blessed or for me it is automatic that you do meditation that you connect to the divine okay you feel your third eye uh, because again the indigo races right uh we already come uh through the the whole of a mentee that's the uh five six uh, seven dimension right with this five six and uh, strands dna being activated when we come here to this world and um so we are part of contemporary human hybridization program right it's for uh, evolutionary experiments so we're here as an experimentation right we're trying to figure out what in the world happened all this abuse and violence how they are doing it through the silent weapons the directed energy weapons the psychotronic weapons right all these exotic weapons how they're damaging people's aura or the aura of light workers of star seeds, especially those in the military the warriors right and so what is what is then you know happening and how that all can be corrected so um you know just uh, and that was uh, that's uh, been happening uh, more than a decade ago and me coming up with that military project for young veterans back then in 2009 i got horrible backlash right i'm like wondering why you guys you had wounded warriors you gotta heal yourself you gotta meditate right and so that was all stopped and i was brutally abused okay and violated and, uh, you know, I, I received all these initiations of you want to be a Marine, right? Initiations in those Arsha plane, you know, with the, the sodomy, with the um, satanic ritual abuses. So I know what is happening to those guys because, and especially in the Arsha plane, okay? And of course, the abuse is happening on a physical plane as well. But I never, I never joined military on that physical plane. But again, we are multidimensional. We are the stars, we're the galactic. So our aura energy field is immense. And so, and uh, so we come here also the, with the 12 strands diamond sun DNA potential of uh, DNA. So it can be activated, reawakened within, within the earth human uh, lineages. And so we have the original angelic human 12 strand DNA. Um, that uh, we're we, that's the diamond sun DNA, so we come with it, and uh, we even carry the diamond, the double diamond, and emerald uh, sun DNA matrices, and so we're considered the future races, okay. And uh, you know, we are born through the Palladorian birthing contracts, Rishi agreements. So, well, I have a connection to the Rishi sages of the Himalayan mountains. Right? That's why I talk about the yantras, mantras, sacred geometries that comes from Hindus, from the yoga, the true yoga tradition, yogic tradition. Okay? Om Namaste Bhagavan, Vishveshvaraya, Mahadevaya, Triambakaya, Treporantakaya, Tre Kalagni Kalaya, Kalagni Rudraya, Nila Kantaya, Amritun Jayaya, Sarveshvaraya, Sada Shivaya, Sriman Mahadevaya, Namaha. 
Salutation to Lord Shiva, Shiva warrior, Om Namah Shivaya, chanting that helps a lot as well, okay? I know some of the Sanskrit because I was so attracted to it back then in 2004 when I was in um, Asheville, North Carolina, and I was studying Ayurveda and, you know, how to heal a uh, body, uh, women's, was for women's health. And uh, so this kind of, it's my background, yoga and Ayurveda, that I've been studying for more than 25 years. And unfortunately, you know, we were born here to these, you know, earthy uh, kind of people, even though my dad, of course, Anunnaki. And so we got lots of um, distorted uh, distortion from our earth parents. And so not only we have to correct that, but now we have to correct all these things that happen in our planetary system, right? So we have two grids, guys. Now we have the ascension grid, right? Please join us for the unity meditation or ascension meditation with Sandra Walter. Um, or, you know, you can also um, do the 12D shielding, right? The, we have the 12 rays. Uh, of uh, creation also established here on this planet but it's all happening through incension through the inner work okay and through the transformation the transmutation while exposing all the corruption all the wrongdoing so this is a multi-level multi-dimensional you know interstellar galactic operation that is happening okay so and this is not an easy job and so we have to reverse that and correct all that and uh, let me see this is this is our mission you know it's not easy just being of service right total surrender and it is in a way is a sacrifice to be here guys you know because we come from very enlightened worlds you know crystal cities uh, you know being on a spaceship spacecraft is a natural thing right the ashtar ashtar command 11 dimension right or 16 dimension some of us come even from uh, more than 20th dimension and we have to be here to expose the corruption that is coming from to 10 dimension 11 dimension running the uh, base 10 mathematics reversals okay of those dracos the the alpha draconis and so on so this is not an easy job while being targeted right or working kind of 3d 4d job trying to find a place to stay so this is you know uh we're we're bringing the heaven on earth right all the paradise i mean uh the cosmic the ascension energy is here to this um uh, to this uh, plane of existence and we have to be like humans so we understand the humans you know uh, kind of uh, their lifestyle or their thinking or you know how they kind of operate how the the matrix got a hor you know horrible influence on so many people just not uh, being aware that there's this infinite source uh, of creation within their hearts so we're trying to activate that right activation uh their dna uh we are bringing the light codes here so uh so people who are open their mind is open their heart is open they can be activated they can receive those uh sacred crystal crystalline uh diamond codes coming from um and the cosmos the core uh, the core, uh, the galactic core, and so on. So, guys, so we are the ground crew here, right? We're the galactic command here. Uh, we are following or we're going back to the Emerald Order, okay? Which is the free will under God, under law of one. And, uh, right, we are here balancing, balancing the scales. Those who are also on a mission to correct all these things, right? The divine justice, the divine justice is here. And, uh, let me see the polarity so okay the polarity integration so what it means for me right now being here in these ascension energies crystal crystalline uh, energies you know our 12 strands uh, being activated and at the same time you know uh you uh have to be in a place so overnight somewhere where you're beating a beating uh being uh targeted by the psychotronic weapons right of those um uh, grace uh, aliens of the, the zetas uh, you know because the 5g towers they're actually uh hooked to these super quantum computers of those 
those negative aliens and that's how they got uh, they're targeting humans uh you know the chemtrails you receive all these horrible chemicals the nanobus the nan nanites and then you know of course that's all being activated if people are close to 5g or their wi-fi okay if you don't turn off your wi-fi um and um this is all being you know also the smart meters if you have um at your home so if you're close to 5g you gotta turn off your wi-fi you gotta turn off those smart meters uh because it's just raking it's totally uh destroying your dna it's destroying your aura it's the part of the uh, depopulation agenda and transhumanism right because i know there are some people you know receiving this and even second dose of this so and they're beautiful souls so what you can do just pray meditate hold the light you know we gotta do what we gotta do we're here uh of being of service even though hardly anybody understands us so we have to kind of be okay with it comfortable i gotta be comfortable with it so the zero point divine neutrality is very important to be in your heart in the divine neutrality zero point balance okay and so our mission is pretty much self mastery right how to be in kind of in those both worlds okay and at the same time just be in that zero point balance you go know, because we are now running the trinity the tri waves it used to be the binary system right the polarity uh and we've been uh, negatively polarized the duality right you know of the people just swinging up and down down and love and hate I, I hate you and then i love you and i'm your friend now i'm kicking you out you gotta go and people are smoking on drugs and alcohol and this sex addiction people don't even know how to channel energies people have entities right i talk about detoxification very important detoxifying detox your your body and your your astral field right where all these um not nanites and nanobots are uh right colloidal silver uh, activated charcoal zeolite okay and then drinking distilled water eating superfood so talk about the book from magenta pixie um healing karma through nutrition so and yeah the ego is huge here i mean that's what i am experiencing and there is a, a good the healthy part of your ego hey i gotta take care of myself uh, i gotta be healthy you know what i'm saying i'm establishing god's sovereign free boundaries okay so there is this um good um positive ego in a sense this individuality we're all unique and we're expressing our individualities at the same time you know our duty is to be whether tolerant or or kind of accepting or just recognizing other people's differences right and being okay with it but here people are still inserting you know their control their ego their negativity they're venting things you know uh so some of my co-workers they think they can kind of they think they can control me you know it's, it's the illusion is the illusion okay that you think you can control somebody and you yourself don't have control over your mind over your feelings over your emotions over your sexual energies the sexual energy is being targeted here immensely guys so all the sex misery machine the lunar um the the, the lunar entities right the the moon and so on we are here also to transform transmute all that the lunar trans um, transfiguration through the sacral chakra that's the second chakra so and that's you gotta be good in yourself and that's the ninth dimension right the universal kundalini you have to learn you have to know how to have your um you know sexual energies in order and how to um harness it and protect it and uh you know so many of those rishis or you know the gurus or you know doctors in ayurveda i mean they had families and even um you know so i'm the soldier of peace um uh was it mahatma gandhi right they had families and children but once you are devoted dedicated to god to service you abandon all that and you just focus on god and on your mission and so it calls it's 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 called detachment it doesn't mean now i don't care for you nothing no i'm holding the light for all of you guys for for uh entire humanity for human race for the entire planet for mother nature mother maya um or gaia sophia okay so that's total devotion dedication to god's work god's service 
okay for the liberation of this planet and for the evolution and for really kind of getting rid of these um the dark forces as we're implementing the galactic codex please you can see it on my website yanakalai.com galactic codex or you can even read the credo or the treaty on the new earth jurisdiction where we're implementing the galactic codex okay and studying natural laws is imminent for those who are like me you know the warrior races here the indigos here correcting all these things may make things right side up everything has been polluted corrupted you know upside down right the, the satanism the luciferianism the sodomy the pedophilia the psychopathism the narcissism and so on right it's attached to the ego the ego personality that has no connection to god to source that's what i'm talking about that needs to be transformed transmuted that negative ego and so very important the work that we do the integration as we go deep deep down into the darkness man it's tough rough nobody's really here to help you or understand you when you talk about aliens right people think like oh call a doctor hospital 3d doctor or you know some you know 3d you know people or 3d lawyer you think you're good they're going to bring it into justice no so that's why i'm here putting those videos out there with all these information and you know hopefully i will connect with my tribe or with those who resonate with me so we can create some community in unity with ETs with highly advanced technologies taking on technology right medbeds actually I need to have some uh, Lemurian healing chamber now just putting around me from um, Atlantis Lemuria right just with the crystal crystalline um, technology and you know free energy to gen generators uh, because um, guys we're middle or you know this is my story like we're really in a in a middle of all this and you gotta find your ground you gotta be in your heart call for god and do uh your best do what you can do because we're doing the ascension the 12 dimension here right and of course through that you know it's it's a process because the earth the 3d earth is ascending and it's going to that next octave which is the harmonic universe number two and it's about soul connection consciousness expansion includes the fourth dimension fifth dimension and sixth dimension but those indigos we already were born with those uh, fifth and sixth strands um, uh, of dna being activated right so that's why the invoking the violet flame whether it's the seven chakra or the seven dimension right that's the planetary logos that's also how can you can connect to the galactic core which is the a dimension and mastering yourself sexual energies that's the nine dimension and then of course if you want to uh then enter harmonic universe number four uh that's uh you know you have your christed mind the buddha mind and then you become your avatar self and that's yashua d12 who came here more than two thousand years ago for that stellar activation same thing we're experiencing now remember those things are also happening in parallel uh, it's it's all parallel realities everything is happening at the same time the past right the future so very important to be in the now in the present moment okay and just um embracing all that right integrating all that and just doing your best so um let me see that so the ascension protocol here for the new earth okay and again this is my journey this is my year's journey so only take what resonates with you leave the rest don't take things personally because some of the law is you know don't assume anything don't take things personally you know for your for your maturity for your uh, soul growth is to just kind of develop that sense oh this person is talking about that you know so uh, it's you know this is my my story but how you guys then interpret what i'm sharing with you is becomes your story so try to differentiate that that would be great so i talk about the 12 the shielding very important the unity meditation every sunday please join us with sandra walter okay uh so that's 8 a.m 11 a.m and 2 p.m the 5d protocol i have uh from telos the inner earth okay that's uh 
powerful portal underneath Mount Shasta, California. Uh, there are our star family, galactic family as well there in the inner earth waiting for us for awakening. And the energies are here, right? So we can already cooperate, communicate with them. Like very important also the work that I do or if you're on your mission, on your service, you gotta have connection with your ET family. Like, you know, Marina Jacobi with her quantum manifestation, quantum protocol, right? Uh, she had all the, the downloads from uh, those hybrids. So, and again, some of the hybrids, even the Zeta hybrids, they're of the positive faction and they're here to help us with the ascension. So if I say Zeta or, you know, it doesn't mean that they're always of the negative faction. Even some of the reptilians and the, the, the draconians and the dragons, right? We have also the resurrection of the solo Christ, those dragon queen or dragon kings, um, the, the, the magic gray lineages, lines like King Arthur. This is all being resurrected. This is all coming online, guys. So the energies, of course, they're incredible they're here uh, being on the sun right I'm going to the beach um, in a little bit and then of course need to upload the video guys and then I'll have other errands to do because also the solar rishis the solar rishis are here as well in this dimension and uh, the story is you know they're part of our um, uh, the ancestors right that the some um, you know, the solar riches of the Christos uh, guardian races, or so we're the Christos guardians, right? But they knew of all the the, the uh, corruption uh, that's been happening. And so uh, they kind of a uh, little bit, uh, well, distant themselves and they're waiting for the right time. The right time is here and right now, the divine timing with all these energies. But we also have to learn how to navigate through all these dimensions and how to work with it and how to be active, proactive, okay? So, and and things are uh, speeding up, right? Everything is accelerating. So, you know, it's like your your mind, your emotions, your feelings. What are you doing? Where are you? Okay. Uh, like me, even like uh, sometimes driving uh, to work, you know, I had the ascension energies. At the same time, I was my mind, uh, my brain was microwaved from all these horrible radiation, right? Coming from the 5G tower. So I was disoriented. Well, well there's ascension symptoms or symptoms from the uh, draconian uh, grid, right? So you have to be in your heart, in your core and just um, surround yourself with peaceful energies, with the luminosity of your heart. So again, it's a mastery. And then talk about yoga, right? That's my passion. Eight steps of yoga, yoga philosophy with its virtues and values and morals. We need to bring morals back online, right? People watching uh, movies or TVs and even children. Look what is being done to their brain, to their aura, to their energies, okay? So we need to uh, bring that everything into light, correct it, and... Um, um, bring the sunshine back online into our hearts and our into our soul so the divine mother is of course healing uh, here uh, as well the solo christ the uh, divine feminine right the dragon queen so uh, it's all here for healing for the transformation for the work for the ascension for their interstellar stellar activation right with sananda that's his spiritual name soul name yashua d12 right sananda and um so the um the solar dragon queen is here the holy mother sophia is here as well so let's be thankful and grateful we can say the honopono prayer holy mother uh everything that happened right holy mother we are sorry holy mother please forgive us holy mother we love you holy mother we thank you so many people need healing and even my friends right there you know next to 5g there they need so much healing uh, but at the same time we cannot interfere with their choosing even the choosing of their soul we just have to hold the light for them and, you know do our best you know pray and meditate but um, everybody's now responsible you know everybody everything is accounted for so Talk about healing through nutrition, the balancing of karma. That's a book from Magenta Pixie. Or you can uh, study detox protocol from uh, Marina Jacobi. Everything is um, on YouTube, right? Harmonic, um, that's the... Um, 
uh, Harmonic Reactor, that's her YouTube channel, and talk about the superfood, right? Ayurveda, Ayurvedic cooking, I mean, every everything, you know, of pure nature, like no plastics uh, in a kitchen. I talk about all these horrible ingredients they put in our food, right? All these flavors and, you know, the citric acid, nothing but black mold. I mean, that's um, information from Dr. Sam Magzi, quantumhealing.club, that's her website, okay? And um, uh, what else? The uh, corn syrup. I mean, all these preservatives, all these additives, guys. Read all the ingredients. It's bleach. My friend, is, she's using bleach flour and the, the sugar is, is bleach as well. Uh, it's just, and that's actually, guys, what causes, uh, it, the people are easily uh, to comply, right? It causes this distortion in, in their brain waves, okay? And that's why, you know, that, that's what it does, the mind control, the programming through the 5G towers, through the nanobots, okay? It's, uh, it's called soft killing. They're killing us softly with their silent weapons, right? The sound, uh, sound weapons. But those, again, you know, were so sensi sensitive. Indigo races, the star seas, the indigo warriors the truth seekers you know the empaths we we feel those things right we are sound light frequency vibration we're 99.9 percent .9 energy we're spirit spiritual beings having human experience it's time to back go to back to god to source to what is i am that i am and it is what it is so uh you know when i'm trying to sleep at her at that place the so um so radiated right at least listening to some sulfagio tone so the brain can at least harmonize for a little bit okay that's how bad the radiation is so the sound healing is extremely important and it will be beneficial uh, for people who were extremely abused and violated right in the military those veterans the crystal um, balls okay um, so it's called sound bath healing um, so so important the sound the frequency being in a sacred space you know like home chanting om right chanting om like home so uh, very important coloring mandala creating the merkaba around you right that's your spiritual vehicle I mean that's part of your light body that's how uh, consciousness travels through you can go to those higher dimensions because we're multi-dimensional and then talk about the violet flame invocation Saint Germain he's the leader of the new golden age okay um that's the aquarius and so on and of course the purification of your aura of your energy field uh being in nature or listening to music and um, the sound healing okay invoking the violet flame epsom salt okay drink drinking distilled water cleanse your colon you can take trifola and there's this little book from um what is it? Uh, her name is Kathy O'Brien. Is that her? Uh, PTSD time to heal, right? And also the Galactic Codex. We're implementing it for the new Earth jurisdiction, for the new government, with also new military, space force. And we are now aligned with the universal laws, the law of one. We're bringing the Cristo Sofia consciousness here back online. Because the project, what I have for the military, they have to heal their sexuality, right? Their misery. And it's through bio genesis and deprogramming i mean they've been also tortured you know food starvation and water starvation all the uh the toxins and neurotoxins in in their food i mean uh it's just brutal uh what was was been done to the guy to those guys in the military okay and and of course what what this what this does i'm sorry my hair is just like everywhere so this jab so they shut down shut down your chakras your pineal gland and even the gut cone in your DNA is being uh, shut down, so they're damaging um, the uh, your DNA. And so, if the damage is more than thirty percent, we talk about it. Bioregenesis is not possible. That's why those hybrid races. The negative ones, right, from the Wisa deck, from the Phantom Matrix, I mean, uh, they're, uh, how they're contaminated and distorted and polluted. I mean, the implosion, you know, it's the only possibility to go back to God, a source, you know, and to become a space dust. 
So the the so called the CV the experiment is is experimental biological weapon with AI hybrid nanotechnology guys. So it's it's like a, those nano the robots inside of your bodies. They're so little tiny one, and they act or react to your feelings, to your emotions, right? To your to to your thoughts, to your thoughts. So it kind of it rep they replicate the state of your being. So they either fuse with that energy of Christ like, right? So um or you know uh, if we're going um into the negativity and you know the ego came, uh, kicks in, right? The negative ego, which is the construct of the Dracos Draconians. I mean, we need to also transfigure, transform the DNA of the Dracos of those negative ones, right? Who came here and wreak havoc in the entire solar system. So that's a huge big operation here going on. And so what I've noticed in the Draconian grid with the 5G towers, they even have hospital. It's called Ascension Hospital. And guess what is behind those hospitals? 5G tower. That's what they do. That's, you know, so that's what the medical industry, right? The pharma, they're all hand in hand. So that all needs to be exposed. Guys, this is multi-layered, multi-level. Some people won't be able to handle all that. And then, of course, people are, you know, the, the MD, you know, I mean, 3D MD who are program mind controlled and so on. All these diagnoses. So you got Alzheimer, you got Parkinson, or these children, they're being, um, they're 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 receiving this with all these toxins right autism and so on because of all the horrible chemicals in their brain right in their neurology and so on and then of course being uh close to computers on a computers and wi-fi and then close to 5g towers and uh there's it's just scrambling scrambling their dna that's what the 5g does and and this okay and uh the radiation and so on it's just because they want to destroy the christos races the negative ones right um you know so the alpha draconis i mean the the fallen anunnaki the anu elohim and uh, and so on you know they have the zetas um the negative the, the grays the orion group uh, pretty much uh, they're vampires okay and uh, they're just siphoning energies from living beings and from uh, planets and uh, it's not only you know it happened to other star systems and other planets so, so people, their, their brain is full of those nanobites and, uh, you know, from the chemicals, right? Coming from the chemtrails, the aluminum, barium, and mer mercury. I don't know what is all that. So we got to also protect our head. So when I also was going to the beach, you know, military helicopters coming in, you're trying to meditate. You got the chemtrails going on, right? So again, uh, call upon the galactics, the galactic command, whether, you know, they're neutralizing these uh, harmful uh, chemicals or, you know, using hydro hydroxychloroquine queen or you know they have advanced technology that is supersedes you know the negative ones i know that because they were able to heal me to put me back together because i was dismantled and i was uh, so um so damaged my aura my energy field my brain was actually um electrocuted okay so that they have so i have all kinds of etheric ethereal technology that had to be implemented of course i'm, I'm here with just like a hologram here right coming from the hyperspace hyperspace hologram so i'm here in this physical plane so i can do the work you know my assignments right my mission exposing all the wrongdoings and the military weapons uh with my soul group in my tribes the veterans the marines and you know the guys in the military you talk about the secret space program the darpa talk about the military industrial complex and all the planetary organizations talk about the monarch and the scorpio right kruger you know all these companies now uh, or the corporations i'm sorry those are corporations are right? they're responsible uh for all the criminal activities i mean it's it's, it's, it's the atrocity okay 100 responsible that's why it's so important to go galactics to go quantum to educate yourself to meditate so Implementing the Galactic Codex, it means you can call, uh, call upon the Galactics for help, right? And of course, you have to tune to those energies, right? So, and I know it's very important to create that place, space, sacred space. You know, here it's in my car, a little spaceship, you know, and. Uh, I bought some, uh, you know, uh, like a hat, um, be, um, beanie, call it, with EMF protection. I don't know if that is going to help or not. I ordered that. 
I haven't uh, received it yet, but this is uh, crazy what's going on. And of course, it all goes hand in hand, you know, how to program us and uh, how to control us, the compliance when they put horrible ingredients in our food. So you got to avoid the high fructose syrup and it causes cancer, right? The natural flavors and the citric acid, guys very important to stay away i'm i can't even i can't even imagine now through these experiences that i i, I have here which is not that big city i mean you know compared to like new york city i can't imagine what is happening there when i was there in 2018 2019 i was um going to find trying to look for a job i mean you know Oper, I mean, uh, babysitting, right? And so I had to go th uh, to Long Island. So you got your easy pass, or you, then you got you got radiated. I was radiated, and I go to Long Island. Everything was reversed. The five G towers almost everywhere. I'm like, how in the world these people live there? So I was just so happy when I left that. Um, uh, island, you know, even though I love New York, but you know, just the contamination in the energy in the stratosphere, the hemisphere, they're polluting the magnetospheres, the negative ones. I mean, they, because they have the highly advanced technology, so that's why. You know, we need the galactics. We need the awareness. You're the star seeds, the indigo races, the galactic warriors. You know, we're here holding the light and exposing whatever we can, right? But it's a process. We're doing it step by step, the best that we can. So praying for the New York City, right? Chanting. You know, and New York City um, is the city of wild fire, and New York City is the purity God desires. Okay, so whatever, whatever works. For you guys, um, you know, the, so the time is here to, to be of service, but at the same time, we need to take care of ourselves, love ourselves, forgive ourselves, right? And become passionate with everything that's been happening to us and that is transpiring because, again, you know, you got to learn, know how to fight the good fight, right? Having the protection of God, you have to be in your heart and you have to have a really deep devotion, dedication to the one, to source, to what is I am that I am, and it does require the inner work. So, my beloveds, this is okay for uh, all for right now. Um, so, um, let me see. I pretty much mentioned everything. The bioregenesis is a set of technology and tools for consciousness expansion through the natural gentle stimulation of the DNA template, Kundalini chakras, and your Merkaba. Okay, and we are here to overwrite. Um, the um, the draconian matrix, the binaural system, right, of that reversed, of their reverse technology, the false tree of life. So it's a uh, lots of work, lots of dedication. Um, it's um, it's very, uh, it's it's yeah, it's challenging and it can be dangerous because some of us, I mean, you know, yeah, we're 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 being attacked, and so many people actually they are not even here so because they were attacked and then so called they got CV nineteen. No, yeah. Okay, okay, my beloveds, this is, oh yeah, and we are protecting the earth because it's an intergalactic hub where all galaxies of the omniverse can pass through and visit. So that's why the Dracos, the negative ones, they want this planet, they want this solar system, they want this galaxy, this Milky Way, they want to control the 15D uh, matrix, universal time matrix, because this is the intergalactic hub, and they think they can uh control the entire universe no divine justice is happening and you know it is what it is so my beloveds you take care of yourselves and i'll talk to you next time many blessings and namaste bye bye